let's create a sample program that shows inheritance. As usual, we click the file. Choose new project. And then we will name our package as last name inheritance. But first, of course, we have to click the Java in the categories. And then in the project, click Java application and then click next. Then for the name of our file, project name is last name inheritance so again your last name it should be your last name and then the term inheritance make sure that the create main class checkbox is checked here and then click the finish button and then wait for the program to create the template once the project template is created, again, remove the unnecessary comments and then simply insert your signature. After removing all the unnecessary comments and inserting your signature as an author, we can now create our super class. So this is our main class. So to create our super class, we will right click the project node. And then from the option, you choose new, then click Java class. Then our name for the super class is super vehicle. So do not forget to place underscore since more than one word is not allowed in a class name and then simply choose the package that we created earlier the last name inheritance and then click the finish button and then Again, insert your signature at the top and remove other comments that is not needed in our program. For our super class, to create the methods that is common to all vehicles, like the method here go which says this vehicle is moving and another method here stop which says this vehicle is stop so these are the methods or operations that is common to all vehicles so that is what is supposed to be included in our super class this thing here will be inherited by our subclass Let's now create a subclass that will inherit the characteristics of our superclass here. So again, we click our main class, right click, choose Java class, and then we'll name our subclass sub underscore, for example, a car, a type of a vehicle. And then do not forget to include our package name and then click the finish button then wait for our NetBeans to create the template and there you go so again clear the unnecessary mm -hmm. comment then insert your signature as usual and you may start writing your source code for your subclass, which is 
in this example, we have a car. So you're going to write the source code here that is unique for a car. In our source code here, notice that we use the keyword extends super vehicle to inherit the characteristics of our superclass, which is super vehicle, this one. Okay, and then we initiate variable wheels and doors. These are some of the unique characteristics of a cars. So let's assume that the car, of course, will have four wheels and then will have four doors. Okay. Be reminded to not to forget to type semicolon to avoid syntax errors and when you type the curly bracket there should all this should always be pair open and close curly bracket now let's create another subclass for bicycle for example so let's again click on our main class new and then choose java class and we'll name our subclass sub underscore bicycle so again do not forget to place it inside our package the last name inheritance and then click the finish button so at the usual remove the comment and then insert your signature once you remove all the unnecessary comments and you insert your signature in your source code, then you may start writing the source code, which is unique characteristics for a bicycle, which is under our superclass vehicle. So this is now our subclass, a bicycle, for example. So think of the characteristics of a bicycle that is unique. Notice that we use again the extends keyword to inherit the characteristics of our super vehicle here, our super class, to inherit the methods here, the go and the stop. And then we have here an instantiation of our wheels. For the bicycle, obviously it has two, and it has two pedals as well. So this could be enough just to show you the difference between subclasses. So as you can see as a whole, we have subclass bicycle and subclass car, and our superclass is vehicle, and then we can uh, write the code for our main class, which we are going to demonstrate an object-oriented program. Here's now our source code for our main class that shows object-oriented programming or method calling. As you can see here in our main class, we instantiate our subclass, which is the car. Notice that it's a case sensitive, so we have to write the actual name for our subclass, the subcar, and the sub bicycle. So this is now our new variable for our car and for the bike. Notice that we call the method go and stop from our superclass, the super vehicle here. And then as part of our output, we would like to display how many doors are there in the car. 
and then how many pedals are there in a bike so that's how method calling happens in our main class which makes it an object oriented program let's now run our program right click at the source code and then choose run file as a result now here we have the statement this vehicle is moving from our super class vehicle here and we have the this vehicle is stopped for our super class again from the method stop so going back at our main class so because of this line 10 we call the method go here and then in line 12 we call the method stop here and then where is this for coming this is from our doors from our subclass car which we instantiate or give an initial value for our doors which is 4 and then the 2 comes from the pedals the number of pedals which we initialize in our subclass bicycle here okay so that's how inheritance happens in Java programming. The characteristics of the superclass is inherited by our subclass, so no need to write a very long program, just inherit the characteristics from the superclass by the subclass and then call it at once in our main class.